This is my background music Cause I don't wanna get copyrighted So I made most shit to this beat Kinda land low key but join the team Subscribe, subscribe Welcome back to my channel. Why do I always do this? I don't know. I talk with my hands a lot, but what's good? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, what's up? I'm Deja. Hello. Today's video is a video that's highly recommended. All of you guys, most of you guys, a percentage of you guys have been asking me, what do I do to my hair? How have I gotten my hair to grow so fast? Because if you don't know, I cut all my hair off last year was that last year 2018 cut all my hair off at the end in november so it's been a year almost two since i did my big chop uh my hair's in a ponytail right now that's how it's looking my hair has never been this type of texture texture ever okay like i curls non-existent my hair was so dead so much heat damage i used to straighten my hair every morning when i was in middle school um high school also like i straightened my hair every single day okay by the time my big chop came my hair didn't grow past like here it was bad don't mind this little this finger okay my hair just didn't grow i don't know what else to say it just didn't grow it was bad okay um so one day i just decided hmm I'm just gonna cut my hair off, and that's exactly what I did. And this is how much it's grown. I'm gonna show you my wash and grow routine. Not really wash and go. If you wanna see a wash and go, let me know, because this is definitely not a wash and go. I washed my hair probably like four days ago. So this is what I just do when I want my hair to be curly, like these pictures right here. I'm gonna just show you, I'm gonna show you what I put in it. So I use this shampoo and conditioner set. This one is for dry hair, cause my hair has been super dry from the weather here in Vegas and then I go in with my coconut curls and then I top it off with my pillow soft curls pretty much all I put in my hair so I'm sorry if this is like not what you came here for like this is one of the reasons why I really didn't want to do a hair routine because I'm not a like natural girl specialist or like I don't really do too much to my hair so honestly I really don't know how it's gotten this long I really believe it's from the simple fact that I don't do that much when I do it's really just conditioner and most of the time all of the time it's not leaving conditioner so is that good for your hair but let me show you how long it's gotten all right so the trick for how I achieve those looks in that picture because I was pretty shocked my damn self, okay? My hair is semi combed out and you run your fingers through it. No, um, and that's what I like because I have the tightest coils in the world. Like my hair is not loose curly. I look crazy. <laughs> okay, my hair is not loose curly and if I comb my hair out while I'm doing this little curly routine I got going on, my hair will shrivel up to like right here. Like it would just be like right here. Have my curls look elongated, um, I don't comb it out. And I normally do this while my hair is like soaking wet. I'ma just wet it hella right now. Normally my hair would be shrinking by now if it was combed out all the way. And what I do is I part my hair, well not really, I just separate my hair down the middle. And then I just apply some of my conditioner. Mostly focusing on the ends. Is where I put my conditioner. I don't really have a technique, honestly. I love conditioner, honestly. Is putting conditioner all like leaving it in your hair back? I've been doing it forever. So, I try to make sure I'm getting it everywhere, getting it on the roots. And then what I start doing is finger detangling, or I would just leave it like this, honestly. But I'm gonna go in and kind of do this type of motion. Not so much so towards the roots. But I'm gonna just kind of separate the curls a little bit so the curls can clump together. I know it looks like I'm being really rough, but I'm being so gentle because I am very tender headed, like extremely tender headed. As you can see, like just from finger detangling, the difference in my hair. Ow, 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 ow. This needs to be wet a little more. It's dry. This side is dry. That's how much conditioner I put in my hair point where it does that <laughs> so like I was saying I'm not trying to go in and actually detangle my hair I'm kind of just you know clumping the curls together so they can stand out and not look so dry and then I go ahead and wet it again because I'm gonna need this thing to be soaking wet and then I'm gonna go in with the coconut curls curl styling milk and I kind of just crimp it up in there towards the ends 
Sorry if I'm moving fast. Got things to do today. <laughs> I feel like although you want to see like how people do their hair and what works best for their hair, a lot of people's hairs are different. Like your hair type, texture, whatever curls are gonna act different than mine's do. So I feel like you just have to find what works best for your hair, your curls, your waves, whatever you got going on. Um, just play with different products, you see which ones you like. I put a little of that in my hair and then I go on with the Pillow Soft Curls and this stuff smells so good. Kind of, kind of smells old a little bit, but oh no, I like the smell. I'm gonna hold on, let me get up, gotta do this. The middle part, Cause that's like the driest part of my hair. I do this. Like once I have it how I want my hair to be for the day, I go in and do this. So it can, you know, have some product on there. My hair really be dry as hell. I'm not gonna lie. I just make the illusion that it's wet. But throughout the day, if my hair starts looking a little crazy, I will just apply my spray bottle. That's really all that I do to my hair. Since I like didn't comb it out all the way, it will dry like this. It will shrivel up just a little bit, but I don't know. I just kind of let the curls do what, what they want to do throughout the day. <laughs> this is just what works best for me. Sometimes I don't apply all these products. Sometimes I do. Majority of the times, I just add this. But this is how I made my hair look how it looked in the pictures that I take. Sorry if it wasn't what y'all was expecting with the diffusers and the combs and all that other great stuff. I told you, I'm not a hair person. Like, natural girl, I'm really not that. That's why I was really holding off this video because I'm really not into hair and I don't want to give you guys the wrong information or like I don't really know that much about hair care and stuff so I just showed you what I do for my hair to be honest this is just what I use <laughs> but yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye